Hello, my name is Hannah Nordby, and I am the Area 5 Program Coordinator for Conservation Leadership and Planning. On this micro lesson, I'll be speaking about how Soil Conservation District employees and supervisors can best develop SCD brand recognition. Just like an animal brand represents a certain ranching family or operation, your SCD brand should be consistent and recognizable in your community. Now, my background is in education, and just like every good teacher, I have a few objectives for us today. I'm hoping viewers will walk away with a greater understanding of why it's important to prioritize branding, recognize the benefits of consistent branding, and identify one or two actionable branding goals. To the point of our first objective, I'm going to share two images for us to compare and contrast. Don't be nervous, it'll be pretty easy, right? So here's our first image. It's the NDSU Extension logo. I'm curious, what are some initial thoughts or memories that come to mind when you see this logo? Just make note of it in your mind. I'll share that for me, I think of 4-H and county fairs, friendly extension agents, and educational programming that is research-based, unbiased, and tailored to local needs. Can you tell that I used to be a county extension agent? <laughs> now, let's think about this next image. What comes to mind when you see the South Dakota extension logo? Maybe some of those same positive experiences, people, and overall objectives that I just shared pop into your head. But there's also probably a level of grrr, right? Like a level of taintedness because you think about NDSU and SDSU football and how we're always giving each other a good run for our money. And there's that competitive spirit that comes out. Regardless of if you are an NDSU or SDSU alumni, I hope that this quick activity helped hit home the message of branding and the impact it can have, both positively and negatively. Today, we are going to focus on how to develop a consistent, recognizable brand for your SCD. And that's what we're going to take a few moments here to do, is to think about your own SCD logo. What do people in your community associate with when they hear your SCD name or see your logo in the community? Do they just think of trees and conservation? Do they associate SCD with the NRCS? What else? Are they even familiar with your logo and the great work that you're doing? Go ahead and pause this video and discuss as a group what you want people to associate with your logo. I'm gonna pause for dramatic effect. Okay, we'll bring you back in. I hope that you took some time to really discuss what you want people to think of when they see your SCD logo. The most important aspect of branding that I want to hit on is your consistency. Being consistent with the logo, colors, and fonts that you utilize. Now, I understand that you might not totally be on board quite yet with why that consistency is so important. I'm going to show you two different slides to visually demonstrate what consistent versus inconsistent branding looks like, and you can make that decision for yourself. First and foremost, thank you Adams County for letting me use your logo. I took their logo, I put it on Canva, I was able to create a color palette and determine what fonts that they use. And from that information, I created a newsletter, a Facebook post, and a poster example to showcase how you can be consistent in the powerful message that it gets across to constituents. They don't even have to know the details of these events to know that it's being put on by your soil conservation district. Versus these examples, which I get to pick on these images because I personally created them. These images are relatively easy to read, 
they look nice, flow relatively well, but by just looking at them, you wouldn't know what organization is sharing the information. It just doesn't have that same professional look and grab to them. Okay, let's say you're on board with branding. I like the Christmas crispness of that Adams County example, Hannah. I'm on board. Where should I be using branding? Here's a list of areas where you can utilize branding. Everything from your website, the postcards you send out, email signature, ads in the paper, and so on. Every chance you get, you should make sure you are consistent with that coloring, font, and logo. Of course, you can use additional images and graphics and organize your material in different ways to help get your point and message across, but keep the color, font, and logo consistent. Okay? Let's take some time to reflect. Of that list, that I just showed you, what is your SCD already doing well? Recognize where you are currently branding and then take some time to also identify areas where you could be better about your branding, more consistent. So for example, maybe you're really good at using your logos on all your posters, but you need to determine what a good color palette or font to use consistently is. Another example would be sometimes we need to create material. So you might need to create a PowerPoint utilizing that font, logo, and um, color scheme so that when you're presenting to groups, again, that message is consistent across the board. Those are two areas, our two ideas to kind of get you thinking. Go ahead, pause the video, answer these two questions as a group. Okay, perfect. Now let's take a few minutes to talk about branding with partners. Partners make life so much easier and you wanna make sure each group gets proper recognition. When I was an agent, there was a situation that came up where frustration was expressed that an event looked like an extension event, not a collaborative effort, which is, was a totally fair frustration. We used the other organization's logo, but they didn't have specific colors we can mix together to amplify that collaboration aspect. Now, because I picked on SDSU extension a little bit earlier, I'm going to use them in this branding with partners example because I really did work with SDSU quite a bit and we had fun in our branding and marketing. Here are two examples where we highlighted not only the logos equally, but we incorporated everyone's colors, and in my opinion, did a great job of visually sharing that it was a collaborative effort between all organizations involved to make this programming available. So see, bison and jackrabbits can get along. We're gonna dive into a little bit more detail of how to approach prioritizing branding. For example, when it comes to plans of work, for each objective, you should have a branding goal or description of how branding will help you achieve that overall objective. So for example, how will branding help you plant more trees or get more people to event attend your educational events? Have that written out, right? And then when it comes to budgeting, there are many free ways to brand. However, certain approaches will have a higher dollar value associated with it. How can you cover those costs? I would encourage you to think creatively. Often when you apply for grants, you could write in branding material. Another approach is to include the cost of branded material in your registration fees or you can also earmark dollars in your annual budget that will help cover those expenses. There are multiple ways to go about it. The important part to me is that you set some funds aside. Which funds you choose to ear tag is up to you. 
Again, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pause this video and discuss in relation to branding and marketing, what is something you personally can do in the next 24 hours to help promote your SCD? So some fun facts when it comes to writing goals. First off, you are more likely to accomplish a goal if you write it down, so get to writing. And two, if you are able to complete the first step in the first 24 hours, you are also more likely to keep that momentum going and accomplish that overall end goal. Go ahead, write one goal that you can accomplish in the next 24 hours to help promote your SCD. I wish I was there in person to hear about all your great ideas. In summary, what we talked about in the last 11 minutes is that we reflected on what we want our constituents to think of when they see our SCD logo. We visually saw the impact of consistent branding and the professionalism it projects versus how inconsistent branding doesn't have the same wow effect. We also reviewed where branding could be utilized and identified areas we are doing well and areas for growth. As we head towards wrapping things up, I wanted to share the contact information for the rest of the soil and watership, watershed leadership team and encourage you to reach out with any questions you might have. We're here to help. Thank you for your attention and good luck developing a branding plan. It's a great way to be creative and move your soil conservation district forward.